Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DCIX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I let you this time frame that has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis yesterday, so that's where these green and red line annotations are coming from. But definitely want to get things updated here, as it was another pretty eventful day and still quite a few eyeballs on this one. And yeah, overall, the price did pull back. But also overall, even with the pullback, the price still has plenty of opportunity to build higher bases. And as long as you have higher bases being built over longer periods of time, that's how long-term uptrends are constructed. So I am going to be talking about things from a big picture perspective. Case in point, uh, you know, for example, if you're a day trader and you bought right there, or you bought somewhere right around there and you wanted to sell within 15 minutes after buying, well then yeah, for you the chart looks kind of rough, but again, I'm not talking about the chart from that perspective. So if I sound crazy calling something bullish, that's probably why you had more of a day trading perspective going into it. And from a grand scheme of things viewpoint, the reason I would still call this totally bullish is the price is doing a fantastic job hanging right here around this green line that I talked about in yesterday's video at $2. And let's just say that continues to occur over the next couple of days. You know, maybe the price drops slightly below it like it did, you know, here a little bit, goes up above it, slightly below it. But moral of the story, it just stays within the general vicinity of this line. What would you have from the big picture viewpoint? Again, emphasis on big picture. Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have some lows down here. You'd actually have even some lower lows in there. And if you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, from the big picture, you'd still very clearly have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is going to do over time. It's going to make progress forward. And as in, in this situation, you know, progress I'm defining as a $2 mark. Now, even if the price were to drop below $2, you still do have the 50 period simple moving average right there uh, to help act as support right there. So it's not like $2 is a do or die where if the price closes at $1.97, that implies the entire chart's ruined or anything. Uh, but yeah, preferably speaking, standing up above two would certainly keep the, the big picture chart uh, fully in the bull's favor. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, nothing new here to report. Still had the levels up there uh, from you know yesterday's video around 235 and then 250. So all in all, yeah, a little bit of a pullback today, but grand scheme of things, bulls still have an opportunity to build a higher low, so let's see if they can get that job done or not. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.